guys it is Erika Misha thank you so much for clicking on today's video and as you guys can tell by the title of today's video um, I took my daughters out to our local Dollar Trees uh, we have about three locations close to the house uh, but we only went to two uh, because by the time we went to both locations we had stacks of books yes my girls yes um, they still read books um, I know a lot of people don't really do the whole reading books but you know we old school over here uh, there's nothing like a book in your hand and my girls they love to read um, so uh, let's get into our haul we went to the Dollar Tree um, our local Dollar Trees and we have I have quite a few books here uh, don't count Dollar Tree out now when it comes to their books you can find some really good books just have to take your time and look and you will find the jewels so let's get into them i want to start off first with what we found we found a judy bloom collection and everybody knows judy bloom is a classic judy bloom is a classic she is a well-known author uh, let me see we have the judy bloom are you there god it's me margaret Judy Bloom. Hopefully my lighting will cooperate today. But yes. And if you guys are interested in this makeup look, I did record it for the channel. Just want to say that. But yeah, we got uh Judy Bloom. Like I said, we had we found several uh of Judy Bloom books. Uh Judy Bloom, then again, maybe I won't. Found that one. We found the uh, Judy Bloom. Looks like this is Dini. Yep. And the last one, Judy Bloom Blubber. Like, Judy Bloom is that Arthur. Like, she is well known for her books. She is well known for her books. Let me show you guys those again. Judy Bloom. I mean, and this is at the Dollar Tree, guys. This is at the Dollar Tree. Like, the girls were so happy. Those four books. Okay. Uh, the girls also found, well, you know, we were all looking around. Uh, the Monster High New York uh, book. It's based on a movie. Of course, the girls, they've had this movie. They look better in the meantime. But, you know, the girls are getting older. But, you know, they still love themselves some Monster High, you know. So we found this book, really good pictures in it, I mean really nice book, like really nice stuff in the book, I mean we're talking really a really nice book, black and white, got some color, that is the Monster High book, the girls found that, Once Upon a Twist. Uh, actually, we found a few of these. This is like a series of different books, too. Found that one. Once Upon a Twist. A little cute book, you know. And this is another one. Wait, okay, wait. Once Upon a Twist. Uh, looks like uh, Series and the Beast. At the bottom, it says that. Series and the Beast. And this one, Once Upon a Twist series. When the Clock Strikes Cupid. Just some really nice books, you guys. Kristen McKenna, uh, Snowball Christmas, a novel. Found that one. All right, and we also found Diary of an Evil Queen, Ever After High. We found this one. The girls were excited about this one as well. Give you guys a close-up look. Yep, show you guys the back. The girls were really happy about this one. They were happy about all the books. Showing you guys. Kind of hard to show y'all. But yeah. That book. Uh, they found another Monster High 2. The Ghoul Next Door. Uh, this one is Lisa Harrison. 
another Monster High book. Like I told you guys, the girls love Monster High. Happily Ever Esther looks like. Two men and a wonder pig and their life-changing mission to give animals a home. This one, the girls really like. They thought that one was so cute. I thought that this one was cute too. Okay, and Pretty Sick. The Beauty Guide for Women with Cancer. How to Look Your Best When You Feel Your Worst. By Caitlin M. Kernan. Pretty sick. And of course, uh, like I said, this book is a beauty guide for women with cancer. Oh, come on. Sorry about that, guys. My camera likes to act up. Thank you. All right. Anyway, this is pretty sick. Uh, a beauty guide for women with cancer. Um, yep, it's a really nice book. I like it um, if you guys don't know uh, last year I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, if you go in the description box click on that link it will take you over to my second channel that is my spiritual journey channel over there I share my journey you know with uh, me uh, fighting cancer things that I went through so when we saw this book you know this book really hit home and it was a really nice book it was a really nice find for us pretty sick All right, Sarah Morgan and a wedding in December. I'm telling you guys, we found some really good books. Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-five for these books. A dollar twenty-five. I mean, come on, you cannot beat that. And I'm telling you, there was tons of more, tons of more. David Rosenfeld and Andy, an Andy Carpenter mystery, Dog Eat Dog interesting title but it is the cutest book the cutest book with the dog and the donuts we saw that and the girls had to get it really cute book and the last one together luke adam hawker it's a pretty big book but i'm telling you guys brand new good quality books i mean brand new books i think dollar tree books are donated to the store um, yeah, from what I'm understanding, Dollar Tree books are donated. I guess from different book outlets, you know, like bookstore outlets. But yeah, this last one, together. So, that is it, guys, for the books. I'm telling you guys, the girls were really happy with these books. We found some really good finds. I mean, we know people don't really read books anymore, you know, a lot like that. Everything's all digital and online. But my girls, you know. They like reading books, you know, um, of course you don't want them always, I don't always like the girls doing everything online, so we definitely, uh, were happy to find good books, and I just wanted to come and share with you guys and let you guys know, check out your local Dollar Tree if you guys are interested in some books, A dollar twenty-five, you can't beat that, cheap books, you know, and then, you know, when the girls are finished with them and they don't want them anymore, they don't, you know, but they have a book collection, so. My girls have book collections. They like the whole hand in the, the book in the hand reading, you know, flipping the pages old school like me. You know, we like a good, put the hand, the book in our hand and read it. You know, that's just what we like. Some people still like reading books. You know, everybody don't read everything online. But I just wanted to come and share with you guys some of these wonderful finds uh, that we found at uh, Dollar Tree. $1.25, like I said, you cannot beat that. And they all, they had tons and tons of books. We could have stayed there all day. We would have found a million books. So, um, if you guys are interested, you know, I'm just suggesting that you go to your local Dollar Tree. And, of course, they had the kid books for, like, the little kids, like, smaller toddler books. I mean, they had coloring books, of course, crossword puzzle, uh, Sudoku, uh, all kind of books. They had all kind of stuff. So, if you guys are interested, just check out your local Dollar Tree. I just wanted to come and share some Dollar Tree book finds with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. Thanks, guys.